Well, tonight some Muslim students at Rutgers University in New Brunswick say that they do not feel safe after the Islamic Center there was vandalized. Police have launched a hate crimes investigation. This happened on one of the holiest days of the Muslim calendar. Tensions at Rutgers and many other campuses have been running high since the terror attack in Israel and the invasion of Gaza that followed. Here's New Jersey reporter Anthony Johnson. The Islamic Center is set to reopen after it was trashed as many Muslims were celebrating the end of their holy month of Ramadan. Someone came through, broke in. A cleaning crew found the damage to electronics, artwork, and numerous other valuables early Wednesday morning. Several pieces of art contain scriptures from the Quran. The destruction has caused many here to wonder if the campus is safe for Muslim students. If like I can't even feel safe in my own campus, then like I maybe like it's best if I just stay in my dorm all day long. It's so disheartening and scary because it just solidifies the fact that this we're not safe here. There are over 6,000 Muslim students at Rutgers. It feels like someone violated your home. It really, truly does. There has been tension on campus ever since Hamas launched its attack on Israel back on October 7th. Muslim and Jewish students have been victims of intimidation and bias. Earlier this year, a Jewish student claimed Rutgers retaliated against him because he made them aware of anti-Semitic propaganda at the law school in Newark. Both sides have felt the heat during a time of war in the Middle East. Our siblings in Gaza and where we're at right now, we're all connected. And then our prayer rooms as well. The act of vandalism will not deter the center from being a viable place for Muslim students. This was meant to what? Take away our ability to access it. We're going to say, no, we still need the space and we're still going to utilize it even more so. The New Jersey Attorney General's Division of Criminal Justice is now taking over this investigation. On the campus of Rutgers University, Anthony Johnson, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.